Welcome! This is a tutorial for the advanced search feature of our catalog. Welcome! The libraries have implemented a new interface. You can use this to search for books, journals, e-resources, and other library resources. The advanced search allows you to search multiple terms in different fields. You can access the advanced search using the link located below the search box on the main library page. For example, imagine you're looking for resources on autism or Asperger's by the author Dr. Michael Fitzgerald. Simply type the word autism into the first search box and Asperger's in the second search box and select the appropriate field from the drop-down. You have many options, but we will use keyword for this search. Note that the terms autism and Asperger's are automatically conjoined with OR when you enter them on the same line. This means that we will see results that include either of these terms. We then want to join this search with the author Dr. Michael Fitzgerald. So on the next line, we will enter in Michael Fitzgerald. You have the choice of joining the searches with AND, OR, or NOT. Since we only want to see items that include this author as well as the initial search terms, we will join this search with AND. Since this is an author, we will select Author Keyword from the field drop-down. We can then use other search limits, such as Year of Publication, language, format, or location. Since we only want to see resources in English, select English from the language drop-down. Run the search by clicking Search. Here are the results of our search. If these results were not what we needed, we could start a new search or modify our last search using the links just above the results list. We can start a new basic search, start a new advanced search, or modify our last advanced search. To view more details on an individual result, click on the title in red. Here you will also see the subject headings for the book. These are the subjects assigned by cataloging librarians after carefully examining the material. If you would like more resources on the subject, you can click at the end of the heading. If we clicked on this one, we will search the results on Asperger's Syndrome, Patients, and Biography. If we click on the second term, we would get just Asperger's Syndrome and Patients, and not include Biography. Or we could click on the first term and look only for things with the subject heading Asperger's Syndrome. On this page, you also have the option to hold, recall an item, which will allow you to put a hold on an item if it was checked out, or recall it if it was borrowed for a long-term loan. If this item were only available at the Glendon Frost Library, then you would have to have it ordered through intercampus borrowing, and it would be sent to Kiel. Or, if you are at Glendon, you can have items from Kiel sent to Glendon. If the status of the item were in process, on order, you could request it to be catalogued quickly so that you could borrow it, and it will be put aside so you are the first one to get this new item. If the status of the item was in storage, you could request it to be retrieved by clicking on the Request from Storage button. At the bottom of the page, you will also find a link to see the table of contents for the book. This will not be present for every book, but it is handy when it is. Thank you. If you have any questions or comments, or if you need additional help finding resources, please contact the library. Contact information can be found on the library homepage at www.library.yorku.ca.